The remains of the 13 Malaysians who perished in Sunday's bus crash in Chiang Mai were received by family members at the RMAF base in Subang early Wednesday. The coffins bearing the remains of the victims arrived in a Royal Thai Air Force Hercules C-130 plane which left Chiang Mai Military Airport at 10.55 on Tuesday and arrived at the base at 3.30 a.m. An RMAF Hercules C-130 touched down minutes later with the next of kin of the deceased and a 61-year-old female survivor. The caskets were brought out of the plane with the last one at about 4.20 a.m. Each were placed in a hearse which later made their journey to Batu Pahat, Johor, where all the victims came from. Among those present at RMAF base were Gerakan President Datuk Ma Siu Kiong and MCA Vice President Datuk Paduka Chu Mei Fan. Ma, who is Minister in the Prime Minister's Department, says the female survivor was found to be in stable condition by medical personnel. For the one injured patient, uh, I think the Selangor uh, Director of Pengara Kesihatan is he, they will assess uh, whether akan pergi ke hospital di Sungai Buloh atau ke Batu Pahat. Uh, there's only one injured. The other eight, they are still in the hospital in uh, uh, Thailand. One uh, Lee Siu Kim, uh, one lady, uh, Lee Siu Kim yang injured datang. Okay. So as we said, out of the nine injured, five is still critical in ICU. Four are in uh, better condition. So we are working closely with the Thai authorities to render assistance to the injured. So as I said that, uh, we feel sad, we sympathize and uh, we'll do what we can. Ma also told reporters that the Thai authorities are still investigating the accident. Chu Hu's Women, Family and Community Development Deputy Minister says the Ministry will provide assistance to the victims including counselling. No, yeah. On behalf of uh, the Ministry and also MCA, we would like to express our condolence, deepest condolence to the family. And uh, the Ministry is uh, prepared uh, to actually uh, to give whatever uh, assistance especially in terms of counselling and uh, in terms of uh, you know, whatever is under our ministry. The caskets arrived at the victim's hometown in Batu Pahat at 9am. Two of the caskets have been placed at the victim's homes while 11 others at three funeral parlours here for the final rites to be conducted. The coffins accompanied by their next of kin arrive in five wens.